Solving this problem, uh, it's just common denominator, so this becomes sine cosecant x minus 1 plus sine of x uh, cosecant x plus 1. And on the bottom, we get cosecant squared x plus 1, or excuse me, minus 1. Um, I think that's, yeah, it's just tangent squared x. So, all right, continuing on. So this becomes sine x cosecant x minus sine x plus sine x cosecant x plus sine x. So the sine x cancel out. And what cosecant squared x is equal to is just cotangent squared x. So this becomes 2 sine x cosecant x over cotangent squared x. But we can still go on. So this becomes 2 sine x um, times 1 over cosecant sine of x times cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. Eek. Um, well that cancels out, so we're just left with 2. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, because it's cotangent, it's on the bottom, it reciprocates and becomes the tangent, so tangent squared, so sine over cosine squared x. So this already canceled that with cosecant. Um, so basically it just becomes two, it just becomes two tangent squared x. All right, that's it. Cool.